Okay. Uh, so Steve has a really good point, and that is we lost some of this uh, some of this hard edged quality. We definitely and I agree. We definitely did. So let's do this for example. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. So first off, if we went into panel loops, we we got really soft, and then uh, if we go into polished by features, you know we lost a lot. So there's an easy trick for this. Anybody want to take a guess on how we can sharpen these edges? What would be the one thing that you could do that would sharpen these edges? Crease is possible. Let's just try that. And this way you'll see how this, this feature works as well. So notice that crease is its own sub palette. Okay, I don't come into this area a lot, but it's its own sub palette. And what we could do is just click and crease. And then what you'll see is dotted lines on either side. Yeah. So that will instantly set you up with a crease in one specific area. Let me just uh, zoom out. And then let's see if that functions, if that does it. So I'm going to go into edge loop, panel loops, and then I'm going to come into deformation, uh, polish by feature. Still quite dramatic, right? So let's come in and turn this uh, to a closed circle. And I'm still, I get the hard edge. You know, I'm definitely getting the hard edge in terms of where the crease is, which is separating the side from here. But I'm not getting that hard edge right there. I'll tell you, I'm, uh, I haven't done this demo before like this, so I might get a surprise, but I'm, I'm going to tell you that it, the answer to this dilemma is going to be surprisingly simple. Let's undo. I'm not even going to crease. I'm going to undo the crease. I'm going to go to geometry, and I'm going to I'm going to divide. But I'm going to turn smooth off. So SMT is off. I'm going to divide once, twice, three times. It's a hundred thousand. I'm going to delete my lower. Okay, I got a lot of craziness going on there. And now panel loops. A lot of stuff going on there. They're all separated. But now that I've poly looped, uh, panel looped it, I tell you, teaching ZBrush is going to teach my tongue entirely new ways to move. Groups loops, panel loops, poly groups. <laughs> I'm going to file for some kind of insurance. I think they're going to damage my tongue. Polish by feature. And let's open that up. And you can see one of the tricks, one of the things, is going to be just dividing your model a little more. Polished by crisped edge, that's another feature for us to look at. So I'm going to come back here and then let's take a look at another possibility. I'm going to come to crease again and crease polygroups border so that all the polygroups get a, a crease. The rain in Spain. Uh, and now I'm going to go to panel loops. Where'd it go? Edge loop, panel loop. We need to make sure there's no subdivisions. So let's choose a medium level. I'm going to choose two. And uh, let me just go back to crease and say, out of fear, I'll click it again. Panel loops. Okay, panel loops is not liking this.
I'm going to delete the higher and then panel loop that. Okay. And maybe set polish to one. No, any polish really screws that up. Okay, and then I'm going to come into deformation and say polish by crisp edge. Okay, same problem, right? Wow. That's kind of neat. You could create an alien alphabet doing this, I bet. <laughs>